All right, let's kick this off. So uh, I'm Guan Huang from CompuCorp, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the new drag and drop mailing builder, which is called CVCR Mosaic Integration. So for those who uh, can I ask how many of you here use CVCRM to send a uh, mailing campaign? Quite a few. And uh, uh, were you using the CV mail, uh, building CV mail to send the mailing? Yeah. yeah? Cool. So um, for those who have already used CV mail, you know that it's a quite powerful mailing tool. And uh, it, it has a little bit of drawback, which is the, the uh, content builder is actually a CK editor. So normally, if you want to build some nice and responsive uh, email template, you would need to do some design uh, in advance and uh, maybe build up the markup externally and uh, import them into the, the mailing. And you have to test the responsiveness and uh, import assets and uh, uh, HTML markup as well. So, uh, so the problem with the, the existing CML is mainly about the content building, as, as uh, we just uh, explained. But all the other uh, attributes and functionalities you can use uh, in, the, in the mailing campaign is pretty complete and powerful. So, so in order to fill that gap, uh, there has been a discussion around a open source mailing builder, uh, sorry, a, a mail template builder library out there, which is called Mosaico, uh, somewhere last year. And uh, there has been quite a lot of discussion around it. So the reason uh, people are very interested in it is firstly it's open source so uh, and also it's easy to use and it provides an interface uh, to allow you to drag and drop the uh, pre-built block layouts into the mailing content to quickly build a, a nice and responsive um, mail template basically so uh, the folks from Veda has taken a first step at this, so made the version one of the integration uh, somewhere last year. So what it does is allows you to utilize the uh, Mosaic uh, mail builder to build a uh, email template that you can then use the CVC or CV mails interface uh, to, to uh, load the template and send it out. Um, so that, that has set a very good ground for what we, what we did in the version two, which is, uh, which is basically uh, released this year. Um, and what that covers is a complete mailing wizard. So, um, so the version two is a full integration to CV mail. So it utilizes all the existing functionality of CV mail uh, mailing builder. And it has a intuitive wizard flow, three steps, as you can see in your screenshot. And it also uses the latest shortage theme. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that. So it's a uh, CVCRM theme we built uh, in, in aim to uh, s simulate the latest bootstrap design using the existing CVCRM markup. Um, so that, uh, that is required to, to get the uh, new mailing wizard to, to look like uh, what it is in the, in the screenshot and then you've also got a full template management so it's not using the built-in CVCR man, uh, template man, management and more uh, it has its own template management to allow you to copy, edit and uh, uh, delete and rename uh, the existing uh, Mosaic templates and also has full token integration uh, which is built-in to the email builder and so on so um, I'm just gonna jump out and quickly jump to the live demo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as you can see, this is because uh, the the resolution we're seeing here is not the the uh, very standard resolution you will see on your laptop, but the wizard still look alright because it's adopting the Bootstrap uh, design. So. Um, as you can see, we've split the entire process of building a mailing into three steps, and the three steps should be pretty intuitive. So, um, firstly, you need to fill in a mailing name. Um, so, it's basically uh, an internal reference of the mailing, your, mailing campaign you're building. So, it can be anything that's uh, recognizable uh, to yourself. So, let's just call it a, a nice campaign. 
2017, uh, October 6, 11, 15, 55. So that should be fairly uh, specific. And then you will select a uh, recipe in groups, and then as usual, uh, this, the mailing, uh, the mailer will estimate how many recipients are there in the group. And if you select multiple groups, you will automatically uh, take out the duplicates in the groups. And then the, the third required uh, information is the subject. So this is an actual subject that's going to get displayed uh, in the mail that's going to deliver to people's inbox. So you might want to call that something more meaningful. So uh, let's say your October newsletter something like or something like that and then you can also apply token here so you can uh, you can apply people's first name there to make it more friendly which you can you can uh, try out yourself um, and for people who are using custom reply to you'll be able to enable it in the uh, mailer setting and that field will automatically get added into the first step as well so once you've done all of this we are moving to the main part of the wizard, which is the sec second part design. So here you can see some uh, empty templates and some uh, pre-saved templates in the template management show up here. And you can either choose to start fresh using one of the existing uh, empty templates or any of the templates you, you previously configured. So let's just start with empty templates. So once you click on that, oh, uh, I think the the mailing builder itself requires certain ways to show all the blocks and the content. So I'm just going to zo uh, zoom out for now and just to show how it works in the, in the uh, normal uh, res resolution. So uh, as you can see, these on the left side, you've got a list of blocks that's built into templates that you can use. And what you need to do is just drag a block that you want to add to the, to the content and drop it here. And you can see the block is getting loaded here. And uh, you can you can drop in more and then arrange them later, so like that. And then you can move move the block up and down, uh, flip it, so you can decide the location of the image. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So you can decide if the image was on the left side or right hand side. And let's just do a little tweak trick to, to uh, demonstrate what you can do here. So uh, for this block, for example, you can choose the image size. So if you want a big image, you can do that. Uh, I think it's probably the network issue. Some JavaScript is not getting loaded fully, but uh, let's try to skip that. Maybe just do the basic to start with. Um, and you can come to the style. To, to adjust the background color, for example. Uh, so that basically sets uh, the, the color of the block. Actually, as you can see, it's doing it globally. It's applying to the second block as well. So that's, that's the default option for Mosaico Template Builder. So it's preventing you from dropping out the, the, the design. You, you basically make the color set. So you, whenever you change the, the color, you apply to all of the blocks. However, if you want to apply a different color or different font size to a certain block, you can still do that uh, by coming to the style and to uh, switch this toggle to a single block model. And then you can change the background color to be something else if you want to. So uh, let me just tune this here so it's obvious that's what's going on here. So uh, after that, you'll be able to quickly drop in an image uh, from your uh, local drive by clicking in the image slot and just select one of the image and it will get automatically loaded here um, and you'll be, you'll be able to adjust the font and the color and size of the each, each individual text block as well 
and they will be also be able to drop in the tokens. This is a modification we made to the Mosaic uh, library in order to allow you to put in any existing CBCM tokens, and they have a great free text filter here that you can type in, for example, name, and it will only filter filter the and show you the uh, tokens that's relevant to name. Um, so there are a lot more you can do in the in the template builder, but we're not going to cover all of them today. Um, so let me just show you the other bit of functionality, which is a test. So once you, you've basically complete, completed your, let me just drop, drop in an image for, here, for this one as well, so just to, um, let's see. So this is the other feature. If you've already uploaded one of the image before, you'll be able to find it in the gallery button. And then you can just simply drag and drop in it into the content. And once you finish composing an email, you can do a test before you send it out. So if you click on the t test button on the, on the top right, you'll be able to see a uh, preview the, the mailing as HTML, if it loads. If it doesn't, you can just take my word for it that you'll be able to preview as uh, HTML. And you'll be able to preview as plain text as well. Uh, but it seems like the network is not allowing me, allowing me to do that. Oh, it is coming up. Cool. So it's coming up as a model. So you'll be able to resize it nicely and to see how it's going to look like in your mobile, for example, by resizing the window to this size. As you can see, it's all responsive, and it has changed the button and uh, um, the image to the right position to allow you to it to be fully displayed on your mobile. And you can, if you, you think this um, model is not enough for your preview, you can view in your browser as well. If it loads, uh, and then you can just take out this tab and resize it in whatever. Yeah, sure. So. Uh, you can take the tab out and resize it in whatever uh, size you see fit in your screen and just to test the responsiveness. We're not going to dig into that because the network is very slow. So I'm just closing it here. And you can also send a test email to your email address or a group to test how the mail is going to really look like in your mail client, uh, which you can try out yourself. So once you finish all of the design and you're happy with that, you should be able to close it and then you can see your design has been saved here uh, and all the other um, empty template has been hidden away. And you can always come back and edit it or reset it to choose one of the other template to, to start from scratch. So once you've done that, uh, press continue. It will come to third step, which allows you to select uh, when you're going to send the email uh, campaign. So you can either choose send immediately or set a date and time. And when, when the date time is, is set, um, CVCRM's uh, schedule job will automatically pick up this mailing when, when, the, when the date and time is hit and it will just get delivered. And as you can see, there's, there's also the advanced mailing options button here, which, uh, which is basically a, a model pop-up containing all of the other slightly more technical options that CV Mail provide. And if you, if you feel uh, it's necessary to use any of the settings, you can always find it here. And it works the same way that it used to work in this email. Uh, I'm not going to send the mailing here because it might send the real emails to, to everyone in the group. But um, while we still probably have a little bit more time, let me just show also the... We do not have a little more time. I guess, I guess we started off a quarter late, so let's just try to uh, wrap this up quickly. So this is a template manager for the... Five minutes or you will be thrown out of the stage. Sure. <laughs> so, so for the five minutes we got, uh, let me just show you the template uh, man manager. So you can see it has been divided into two rows. So the first row, you will have three base templates that you can use to create new templates. And the second row demonstrates the, the templates you've pre, uh, previously designed. So I'm going to show you one of the templates I've designed previously. So you can either uh, click on edit to see 
what the template is, and you'll be able to use a template when you when you start a new mailing, and you'll be able to adjust any of the attributes in this uh, in this template and save it accordingly, and then uh, you will. Basically, you'll be able to make changes to any of the existing template, and you'll be able to make a duplicate of in any of the existing template, and then make a different version of it. For example, in this template, it says this is your October newsletter. You can change that to be something uh, something else, or you can apply some tokens to the template as well. So you won't have to type in people's first name and maybe the unsubscribe link, which is required by the government if you're going to do direct uh, marketing uh, into a template. So you don't have to do that every time. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, thanks for listening. Any question? No? <laughs> thanks.